Hello, this is Keith Haggerty, and this is my part two of my final for my social media campaign final analysis of my They Might Be New York Giants fan community social media project. And the New York Giants fan community, uh, what I've learned over the past uh, uh, couple months is they're diehard fans with a ton of heart and emotion for their team. Uh, and just as excited as they were when their team was winning, they also get equally dismayed and uh, depressed when their team goes in the gutter, which is what happened recently. So uh, uh, kind of took a little bit of the steam out of a lot of, a lot of the heart of the fans. But uh, but they're optimistic and resilient, as always, and they're, they're ready for 2014. Very prideful, and uh, after a few days of uh, licking their wounds, I, I think they're, they're back on track and, and ready for a uh, uh, hopefully a better next year. Uh, the key influencers and the hashtags I found, uh, the, the Giants organization itself has just so many followers, it's crazy. The players, uh, if you can get them to respond to one of your tweets, that's always wonderful. Um, the media, particularly New York Giants beat writers, are a huge influence. Uh, influential fans, uh, fans news groups, and some of the popular hashtags you can see right there. Uh, um, they're more basic, more, more generic ones I tried to use, figuring I could try to reach as many people as possible uh, uh, with, with limited success, but uh, uh, looking towards the future, it'd be nice to play around with a few different hashtags and, and see, uh, see what could come up with. Uh, the focus of my campaign from December to January was basically to hit on what's uh, most in the minds of Giants fans at the time. Uh, right now, that would be the holidays, which would specifically be Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Fans definitely have their eyes on on uh, on the season. And with the Giants uh, now officially eliminated from playoff contention with about three, four weeks to go in the season, uh, fans are more interested in not only just what's, you know, looking towards an eye towards next year for the team, but more about uh, what's going on in the NFL as a whole, even if it doesn't include the Giants. And, you know, fans always like to see who else is doing well, uh, what the playoffs are looking like uh, for the road to the Super Bowl. And Super Bowl, ironically, will be at the home of the Giants in MetLife Stadium uh, come February. Hopefully we have a little bit of snow. Uh, and it's also uh, fans like to look back now that they've had a chance to uh, get used to the idea that their team's not very good this year, like to look back on more glory days of uh, years gone by. And the goals of my campaign strategy were all along were just to raise awareness and to energize the fan base, uh, keep interest high. And like I said, especially during a down season, that that's one of the biggest challenges. Uh, a reaffirmation of team pride, uh, the idea of that which does not kill me shall make me stronger. Uh, like I said before, taking a stroll down memory lane, that's one of the big goals uh, for the annual end of the year holiday reflection. Uh, most people like to kind of look back at when the year's about to end anyway, so I figured what better way than to remind them of better days in, in Giants lore. And, and of course, uh, have to laugh so you don't cry. Uh, the idea is to keep the postings fun and, and lighthearted and uh, um, make sure that fans don't take things too seriously because it is just football after all. And my tactics were... It all begins with the blog. Try to create a conversational, original, humorous uh, tone. Um, original content uh, is key. Uh, and then I figured from there I would take the blog and feed it and curate it into Facebook and Twitter to further share and spread. And uh, finally all streams lead to the ocean of Pinterest and uh, where I'd aggregate all the blogs, related photos and videos into a categorized source for potential reference sharing and spreading. Some of my ideas uh, tend to revolve around the holidays, such as the Thanksgiving holiday charitable work of the players with a various video and text, uh, uh, tailgating, a uh, montage of various video and text as well, and just showing, uh, especially with fans, uh, uh, not so much into the uh, rest of the season right now since the team is, is out of it. It's nice just to show better days and just fan com community and camaraderie. Uh, different uh, Christmas-oriented themes for the Giants, such as different gift oddities, uh, this day in history. Uh, I thought uh, 12 Days of Christmas would be interesting, just about a, a Giants wish list, maybe beginning December 13th up until uh, December 24th, with each day posting something else that a Giant fan would like, uh, whether it's a, a new player, new coach, uh, trinkets, mem memorabilia, merchandise, what have you. Uh, a giant carol, which would be a spoof on Dickens, Ghost of Christmas Carol, uh, uh, the Ghost of Christmas Present, Past, Future, and uh, related to the Giants. And of course, uh, various Giants pictures and 
uh, multimedia game day action. And here's some of my sample Facebook posts I used. Uh, uh, you can see that most of them are taken from my blog, and they're just reposts of my blog, such as, uh, and one of them is also a repost of the giant memories from my Pinterest page. Some of my sample Twitter posts are also similar, also uh, aggregating some of my blog content and uh, sending it out. Also a few retweets uh, from uh, key influencers such as WFAN Sports Radio and uh, some uh, the ones I don't have here, but uh, some other retweets from players and different beat writers, uh, etc. And the analytics. Here's where we find out uh, if any of it actually worked. I also almost forgot before I get to analytics, uh, here's also a sample of my uh, blog postings themselves. Uh, here's one I was talking about, giving thanks to tailgating, which uh, is a nice little theme on the, uh, the post-Thanksgiving theme, just a little salute, video montage salute of various tailgating going on with the Giants. Uh, giants a bunch of turkeys, but in a good way. It's more of a salute to the Giants who are making a difference in their community. And this was a really popular one, uh, uh, posted the day before Thanksgiving. And it just basically shows the various photos and videos of Giants doing their part throughout the community. That seemed to get a, a good response. And Giant gift out of these various merchandise uh, tying into the holiday theme of uh, uh, various wacky things that are Giants related that people might want to buy with the, the holiday season uh, quickly approaching. For the WordPress blog, pretty much I got 79 views, which I thought was pretty Pretty decent, considering I didn't uh, advertise it all that much. But uh, you could see this is the one I was talking about. This is uh, Thanksgiving. This is when I got the, the most hits and the most views. And uh, that, that one seemed to be the, a more popular one, which surprised me a little. It could also have been because people were just in a Thanksgiving-y, Thanksgiving uh, community-minded kind of mode. But uh, I'll take it. And uh, some of my other blogs didn't do quite as well. They got a little bit of uh, little bit of action. But, it, but definitely the uh, Thanksgiving theme one seemed to be the the most popular one. And uh, you can see I don't, it hasn't been too many views, but uh, um, it tries to do its thing. Uh, I have about five blog followers now. I would love to increase that number uh, slowly but surely. Now, as far as Facebook goes, um, I have about 51 followers now. Um, about half of those are probably from my own personal network with some people have shared and uh, uh, helped me out a little here and there. Uh, as you can see, my reach is, uh, uh, you can see when we get to around um, November, early November 20th, uh, that was the, my biggest reach I got. And that was a bit of a surprise because that was a, a story just about uh, a former Giant player who was waxing poetic about how nice it was playing for the Giants, how awful it was playing for the Eagles. Now, I don't know if so much of that was Giants fans who were uh, watching it or who were reaching out and seeing it, or if it was more uh, uh, Eagle fans, but <laughs> either way, I'll take it. And then as you can see, as the right around that same time is when the Giants also, uh, their season kind of went in a tailspin as far as any hopes they had were kind of dashed after losing to the Cowboys. And then you can see from there, it was a slow and steady decline in the number of people it reached. And uh, I have to think uh, a lot of that had to do with the team suddenly being irrelevant, which, uh, you know, when, when the team's a bit of a lame duck with about a month to go, it's, uh, it, it's hard to keep the enthusiasm high for fans, but we try. And as far as Twitter, I used uh, Twitonomy to uh, look at my Twitter account. And here I ended up sending 49 tweets since I first began the, uh, the campaign. And uh, here's my tweet history. And as far as followers go, I was happy to get a, a few followers I, I didn't expect. One was uh, number one Gents fan, uh, just as far as key influencers go. Now, now, while they haven't posted anything to my account, it was nice to see them following. And, uh, of course, uh, our, my classmates and, uh, are, are always very welcome followers, too, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and there's another one, too. Uh, yeah, the Giants fans. I, I think... Uh, the one giant fan with uh, 9,183 uh, followers. That, that that was a big one to get to. And I think if I was doing this uh, uh, for extended period of time, I would definitely make sure I hit up the uh, the, the various uh, influential Giants fans uh, in every posting I do too, and just to see if I can get uh, some conversations, some back and forth going with them, and uh, you know help spread the word about the, they might be New York Giants. 
uh, Twitter page. And uh, some of the hashtags I tend to use most often were Giants Nation, uh, Ask NYG, which was uh, uh, set up by the New York Giants organization to ask various players questions uh, once a week. Uh, sometimes they answer them, which is great, because then you can get them, you can retweet them and, and share them throughout the Giants community. Sometimes they ignore them altogether, but I guess that goes for the territory. And uh, you can see from uh, the platform I most tweeted from uh, is pretty much mostly from the computer itself, but I found the, the mobile app for, for Twitter w was fantastic, especially on the fly. Uh, it took me a little while to get, uh, get going with it, but I used Bitly uh, a few times, and I really liked that too. That, that was a big help, especially when reposting and uh, various uh, blog posts. And one of the most surprising ones was uh, my Pinterest page, which was the last one I had thought about. Uh, and while I only have three followers, uh, it was more of a recent effort uh, to put more stuff into my uh, Pinterest page and, and try to increase followers and uh, and I'm happy to see that uh, it was a couple of big Giants fans who ended up following me uh, unsolicited. So th that was nice to see and just, just help get the word out. Uh, a few of the uh, things that, uh, well, I, they ended up repinning a couple of the things that I had posted. One of the uh, repins that uh, they particularly liked was this picture right here that got repinned. And I'll take it. Going back to my Twitter page for a second, one of the uh, things I found interesting that surprised me was uh, my Twitter fans uh, are more women than men, which I thought was uh, pretty interesting. And uh, that also made me uh, more curious about my Pinterest page as well, which, you know, I, of course, I don't want a gender profile here, but uh, it, it does seem that uh, more females tend to use Twitter than males. And uh, one thing that uh, surprised me was the, uh, the amount of really... Uh, enthusiastic female Giants fans, uh, you know, and of course you, you get used to going to a game and it's always the loudmouth uh, guys uh, making a scene, but uh, there are some extremely diehard female fans and, uh, you know, th that seems like a fantastic avenue to explore down the road. One of the big uh, stumbling blocks with doing the Giants thing was, uh, uh, was the campaign was how dependent it was on the enthusiasm from the fans and, and their interest, and unfortunately as the team, uh, didn't do so well, so fan interest dwindled as well. Um, but not that that's an excuse, because uh, you can always get the fans interest back somehow. But just, just an example of the hashtag Giants Nation that was used quite a bit. You can see the number of tweets uh, capped out around uh, November 23rd, which is also the day that they were uh, unofficially not knocked out of their season. And you can see how the tweets uh, steadily and rapidly declined after that. And as the fans uh, realized the team's uh, rest of their season was, was pretty much done. Before I started the campaign, my, my goal was to increase membership across all social media platforms I had. Uh, and this just spurred conversation and interest about the team and, and just about uh, uh, the community as a whole. My measuring stick was success was determined by an increase in number of volume of likes, followers, page visits, discussion, retweets, shared content via my four social media platforms. And did it work? Well, it didn't exactly increase the followers to the extent I des uh, extent desired. I think given time, I'd be able to uh, get more and more. But uh, at the time, it, it seemed to kind of plateau a little bit, especially it was rising uh, as the team was getting a little better, but uh, definitely kind of uh, plateaued recently. Uh, one of the things I, I think uh, my use of hashtags uh, was more experimenting and I'd like to try different ones and try newer ones, more creative ones, see if we can get a little more sizzle instead of fizzle. Uh, and like I said before, downturn giant season definitely dwindled some enthusiasm. Uh, pros of the campaign were the, uh, the blog readership. Uh, I was surprised to get over 70, uh, 70 reads and views. Uh, that made me quite happy. Uh, the Facebook traffic w was steady, even though I would have preferred a lot more, but it looked like the reach was definitely getting out there. And Pinterest interest, and, and uh, while I only have three followers, which, which is by no means a, uh, a mountainous amount, uh, I, I think the potential of Pinterest, Pinterest was really interesting as far as aggregating the different uh, uh, multimedia experience of uh, what it's like to actually be a Giants fan. Uh, moving forward, I would like to experiment, like I said, with a variety of new hashtags, further explore stronger keywords, more consistent postings on all platforms, and give a higher focus and emphasis on Pinterest. And I feel I've only scratched the surface and would love to have the opportunity to continue with this community, whereas I think uh, 
moving forward, me and the team can only get better.